Hello everyone, in today's video, I'll be showing you step by step how to create a coming soon page using Divi. So this is the final design of the coming soon page. It's going to have the main headline, the description, the countdown timer. And this is something I just added in uh, in this video. You don't have to have this video on there. And then finally, we have the social media icons and also the branding. As you've noticed, there's no header area here and there's no footer. This ideally is good if you're creating a coming soon page or a landing page. So let me show you how I managed to design this. So I want to go into my admin dashboard and add a new page. So I'm going to go to pages, add new. So let's call this page coming soon. And then I'm going to click on use the Divi Builder. Use Visual Builder. Okay, so we're here in our, our main uh, Visual Builder. So the first thing we're going to do here is to go into the section settings. So I'm going to click once on the gear icon and we're going to add a background image. So I'm going to click on upload. Now I have my background image here already. And if you need the dimensions I used, it's 2000 by 1333 pixels. So in order for you to add a background image, all you need to do is to click on upload files, click on select files, locate the file you need to upload. So I have it here on my desktop and then you click open. So I won't go ahead and click open because that just adds the same image onto my library. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and I'm going to close this. Right, so since I have my background image already, I'm going to click on upload and then I'm going to select it from my media library. So I'm going to click media library and then select the image. Click upload image. So now the image has been applied to the background. Okay, so there's a bit of CSS I'm going to use here. Now this CSS is pretty cool. Now what it does is it makes the image cover the whole screen and no matter what size screen you have, it just adjusts to that size. So the CSS needs to go into the main element. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here. So now you can see the background image covers the whole image area, which is pretty cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Okay, so now that we have our image there, I am going to go ahead and save and publish. So the next thing we're going to do here is to get rid of this header area and also this footer right here at the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to go into edit page. And then I'm going to come here to the template and then just click on blank template. So once you're done with that, click update. And now let's go back into our visual builder. Okay, so now we're in our visual builder. Let's start adding all the uh, sections that we need and all the elements that we need to build this coming soon page. So I'm going to start off by adding a new row. So it's a single row and it needs to have a text module. Right, so here I'm going to add the contents of this text module and this is going to be our main headline. So I'm just going to type in here main headline. Making sure the uh, text is all centered and also it needs to be light because it's on a dark background. So we need that contrast. Okay, so now let's dive into our design and make some few changes. So here with the text font size, we need to increase that to about say 36 or maybe even 48. Text color needs to be white. So I'm going to select white and also I'm going to add some letter spacing. I think two is fine. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is to add a text module which will have our description text. So again, I'm going to select the text module. And this time I'm going to use some dummy text from Lorem Ipsum. So I'm just going to copy this text and paste it here like that. Again, we need to make sure the text orientation is centered and the text, we need to change that from dark to light. That's looking pretty cool. Let's go ahead and in fact, before we save, we can see here the line height is not set correctly. So I'm just going to increase the line height. So I'm going to come down here to text line height and just increase that a bit. And also the text font size needs to be about maybe 18 or maybe even 20. That's looking better. Okay, let me go ahead and save changes. Okay, so the next module we're going to add is the countdown timer. So I'm going to click on add new module and then I'm just going to add the countdown timer. Okay, so here I'm just going to pick a date. 
So I'll just choose February the 15th. So here where it says use background color, we don't need the background color. So I'm just going to click on no. So now we don't have the background color. And let's go into the design and make a few changes. So here in the design, what we're going to do is we're going to change the numbers font to able. So that's a much better font, I think. And I'll leave the colors as they are. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Okay, so that's looking good so far. The next thing we're going to add here, and this is pretty much optional, is a new row, single column, and we need to add a video module into this. So I'm going to add the video module. And the video I'm going to use is one of my videos on my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to go to my YouTube channel and then just copy that link right here. And then I'm going to come here into this area here and paste the URL. Excellent. So that's looking cool. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Now we need to add the social media icons. To do that, I'm going to come and add a new, I'm going to add a new row with three columns. And in each row, I'm going to add images. So I'm just going to type image. Okay, so now the images we're going to add here are images of the icon. So I'm going to click on upload. So I'll select the first one here. Click on upload an image. And then here, the link URL, this is where you can link to your Facebook page. But for now, I'll just put a blank link. And then it's fine. It, this can open in a new window. So, okay. So this is how you add your first icon. Now, what I'm also going to do here is the animation here. I'm just going to disable that because we don't need no animation. And also I'm going to make this align to the right. Okay. So that's looking cool. I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, because we're going to, we're going to be making two other icons, which are similar to this one. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this twice like that. And then I'm just going to drag this over. So here's our first, it's our second one. And I'll just drag our third one. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the settings of this one. So I'm going to click the gear icon and then I'm just going to make sure that that one is centered. And then I'm going to come to this last one here. And before I go into it, I need to save. And then I'm also going to make sure that this is aligned left. And then finally, all you have to do now is to go in and change the images because they all look the same. So just make sure that um, that one is set to Twitter. Save. And then this one needs to be Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead into the settings, click upload. And this time I'm going to upload it from my computer just to show how easy it is to upload the image. I'm going to click open and then I'm going to click upload image and then save. Okay. So now I'm pretty much happy with that. Finally, I need to add a text module, which will have our text description that goes on the footer. So here I'm just going to call this the kitchen media. Then I'm going to go ahead and save that. Or oh, in fact, before I save, we can see it's aligned left. Ideally, we need this aligned center. So I'm going to go back into the settings and text orientation center. And then I'm going to make sure the text is set to light. Okay, so that's looking really cool. I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so now we need to make the final adjustments. So as you can see, uh, we need some more padding right here at the top and also we need to make some adjustments so let's go ahead and do that now with dv 3.0 it's really cool all you need to do is to put your mouse over here and then just drag so that's our space right here at the top so i'm just gonna make sure it's about 260 so that's all that's looking okay and then here i'm also gonna make increase the space between the icons and the video 
Okay, so this is your final design. Go ahead, give it a try. And by the way, you don't have to necessarily have this video. You can just have your coming soon page with your message that you need right here without the video. So there you have it. This is how you create a coming soon page using Divi. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go to diviuniversity.com and sign up for the mailing list. By signing up, you will be notified every time we post a new video. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.